completely dry. The ant's looking for the last little drop of water. Hey guys, Colvin heat pump just quit. Come out here and took the cover off just to do a quick look, and I think I know what's wrong. Kind of bulged out there. So I say that's it. I just checked the uh, contactor for voltage drop, and about here about two weeks ago, and it, that cab didn't look like that then, so I'm sure that's it. But I'm gonna get this replaced. I run down the street, and luckily our local electric supply down there had a. 30 plus 5 in stock. That'll go right in there. It's going to be a little bit taller. Anyway, I'll get that on there and see what happens. Power's cut. Okay, I got it replaced now. I'm just waiting on the time delay. I had to shut the power off to it, so it's going to be a few minutes before it comes back on. right back in the old strap. That's good. It's about the exact same diameter. Maybe a little bit skinnier, but it tightened right down. See? Adjustable strap on it there. So I hope that's all that's wrong with it. I was just, I was there in the office and I heard a I heard, heard noise in the evaporator like it, like when it switches from like like when it switches from heat to cool or or it's when it's in defrost. I heard that kind of noise. I thought, oh, something's wrong. And I couldn't go out there right that second, so I had one of my guys come back and they said it wasn't running. So I knew something had happened. I was thinking at first it had probably switched over to heat mode somehow and then tripped the pressure switch. But opened it up and found that run cap looking like that so it's kind of a pretty good indication that's what it is that was an arrow box that came from the factory in this uh, UPG unit and I placed it with the Rotom Canada and these time delays are long when you're waiting on them I'm not going to stop the camera though, because sure as I do, it's going to start up. I'll just cut some of this out in the editing process. Power's getting close here. It's been a little over four minutes, I believe. I think it's about a five minute. There it goes. Now that I got the fan going anyway. But I don't hear anything out of the compressor. That's not good. Kim Mark took over for me. Good job for right now. Decided to go ahead and do a little cleanup on the coils on this thing. They were kind of dusty. And I think maybe what's wrong with the why it did the pressure didn't start, I think it was hot. So I got the water running on it. Giving it a little Cooling bell, yeah, it's a lot cooler now. Lots cooler now. I'd probably start up now. Imagine it got hot before that capacitor finally blew. If it run out, got had it probably had low voltage and caused it to get hot. Hope it didn't kill it. Cooling off of Bristol. Hope it can live through it. All is well again. It's running good. Got it pulled back down in there. We're all put back together. Didn't hurt it. Got its coil washed too, that's good. It needed that, looks a lot better. 
just put a lot of dust on it. Anyway, guys, over and out.